Hello everyone, today we are discussing about various uh, steps that are involved in manual testing. So one of the steps uh, that is the major step that is involved in manual testing is software development life cycle. So in software development life cycle we have uh, basically uh, as you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. There are 7 steps. So the first step is requirement collection. Second is feasibility study, third one is design, fourth one is coding. So this coding as we all know uh, is done by our developers. Coding is done by developers. And testing as we all know is done by test engineers. So these things we are uh, generally know. So who does this requirement collection? So requirement collection is basically done by a person called uh, BA. So BA is business analyst or uh, PA that is product analyst. So these are uh, done. So requirement collection is done by BA or PA. So the next step is feasibility study. <coughs> so feasibility is study. So what is a feasibility study? So feasibility study is a step. Once after we do the requirement collection, uh, it is important for the company to decide whether they should take up this project or not. So this decision will be made by a team that will be consisting of a let it here team. So this team will consist of basically the project manager. We have architect here. So so architect is also a person who is doing this design actually. So, so I will write architect here who is the person who will do design. And coming back to our uh, feasibility study, a team that consists of project manager, architect and even our BA that is business analyst as well as HR team and finance team. So HR and uh, uh, finance team are involved in feasibility study. So they have to decide whether they will take up the project or not of the customer. So design is done by architect. So basically the design of the software and coding as we all know is done by developer. Testing is done by test engineer. So after all these process so the next step comes is installation or implementation. So after once this coding and testing is done, next step is installation or implementation. So this installation or implementation is done by our IT engineer. IT engineer or field engineer. or we can name in mass implementation engineer or installation engineer. So the last step is maintenance. So what is maintenance? Maintenance if you see after the BA collects the customer requirement, then the team will do feasibility study, architect will be doing design, coding, testing, installation, installing the software. And if there any if there is any problem that will emerge after all this process, we have our developer and test engineer who will be doing the maintenance. <coughs> so there will be a kind of agreement between the customer and the company. Like for example, a maintenance period if it is six months. So after once the software is uh, given to the customer for a period of six months. If there is any error in the software, our developer and test engineer will try to fix it and give the uh, fixed uh, product to the customer without taking any charges for free. So this is the maintenance. So I hope I have explained the basic software development life cycle. So this is the basic life cycle that every company follows. We have like uh, 
many uh, like types of software development life cycle like waterfall model waterfall model hybrid model spiral model and agile model that so agile model is the latest model so all these models are uh, used in the software company so agile model is presently used in the software company in the older days like waterfall model and and all were used so we will be studying about all those things in the future uh, uh, future classes so please subscribe my youtube channel so that you get more updates about software testing course so thank you everyone